I'm here at the Lily Bridge Engineering Lab where behind me is the Reactor Lab. Before touring the facilities, each member of the public checks out one of these, a dosimeter, which measures the amount of radiation that one can receive after touring the facilities. The Aerojet General Nucleonics Reactor, known as the AGN-201, is now in its 50th year of operation on the Idaho State University campus. Adam Malico, reactor supervisor, says that the reactor was originally designed with high school students in mind. You would go, you would uh, train on the reactor, and you would learn how to operate while you were still in high school, and you would graduate. You would go out and then start working at a power plant uh, or uh, a national lab and get to work. The company that designed the reactor, Aerojet General Nucleonics, is out of business and isn't producing any replacement parts. If a part fails, it can be upgraded or rebuilt by a machinist. ISU's reactor is one of only five similar models left in the world. Idaho National Laboratory's advanced test reactor can produce 250 million watts of thermal power, enough to power a city. On the other hand, ISU's reactor only produces 5 watts of power, enough to light a Christmas tree light bulb. It is basically a plastic reactor. Um, it runs at such a low power that coolant isn't required. Maxwell Daniels, senior reactor operator, says that having the reactor and the hands-on learning that it provides sets Idaho State University apart from other schools. But having the reactor here is probably the second biggest reason I can think for people to want to come to Idaho State University for nuclear engineering. Um, honestly, if we didn't have a reactor, then you know, it would be a little bit tougher to be able to do these real-world experiments. A nuclear reactor license is typically renewed every 20 years. ISU's license was recently renewed. If needed, the reactor could run at full power 24-7 for 200 years. Malico says his favorite part of the job is educating people about the true functions of a nuclear reactor. The biggest problem we have in the nuclear industry is people being afraid of us. Educate people and show them what we're doing so they're not so afraid of some of the stuff we do. After touring the facility, one can look through the dosimeter and see that there is zero radiation exposure from the reactor. Reporting from Idaho State University, I'm Natalia Hepworth, eastidahonews.com.